Hey, if you're looking for some kind of project to do with your kids that would be cheap, possibly, a, say, some kind of science project at school or just for the little ones, for maybe even $4, I want to show you how to make an air cannon on a cheap that actually works quite well. And we'll be doing some demonstrations in injecting some smoke into the cannon when we're done and show you some pretty cool smoke rings. Start it out with, you go to Walmart or wherever, buy a big can of Quaker Oats oatmeal. The components you're going to be needing is rather quite inexpensive and really not much to it. A plastic bag, preferably maybe even a garbage bag or something, but a little thicker one, like from Menards or something. Some duct tape, scissors, a little bit of electrical tape, a rubber band, a utility knife, and a butter knife. Now to start it out with, empty your container of oats out of there. Now the first step is you're going to want to take this lid and cut a hole in the middle here. And you want to possibly leave about an inch, inch and a half of lid around. And that hole maybe might end up being two inches. And what I'm going to do is basically outline the inside of this duct tape and we're going to use that. Try to keep it centered as much as possible. Now we're going to cut that out with a utility knife like so. You'll be putting the lid back on. Now to secure this lid so it doesn't pop off, take some electrical tape and wrap it around it like so. Now for the bottom, basically just going to cut the bottom out of it like so. Then take your got a Menards bag here, basically put that over it, make sure there's no holes in it. Take your rubber band, that down on it. Now get this to a spot where it can be easily pulled up to be able to suck the air up in. Now this looks fairly good there. Take a piece of duct tape, put it on the top where you can make a little pull handle, basically like that. Pull it up a little bit, about there, and cut the rest of the bag off, just below the rubber band. Get it centered, take your duct tape, and tape it on. Now for the handle, I'm just going to use a butter knife, got a lot of them lay around, bend it down, and we're going to tape that on. And there it is. Now, we're going to try it out. I have a fog machine that I picked up for $30, brand new on eBay. That actually has many uses, but we're going to use it today to fill the air cannon up. Now let's try one that I used a large rubber balloon instead of a plastic bag. Now, we're going for Big Bertha. Look at that thing. This is a 12 inch form for a cement pillar. Put the garbage bag over the end. Cut a piece of cardboard over the other end.
like so. And now, try to draw a nice centerpiece. All right, got her complete. Plastic garbage bag on one end, four by 12 tube. This is what I did with the end of it. Just put duct tape on, put that cardboard on. Let's try her out. Never run it yet, so see what happens. Little big. <laughs> Might have to go outside for this guy. All right, it's too windy outside, so 20 feet away from in the house. Pretty neat. Oh shoot. Okay, yeah. shoot me, buddy. Whoa, you hit me. Ooh. And that one got camera. Yep. Now got, that one. <laughs> got camera. That one got camera too. Ooh. Yeah, that one got camera. So there we are. Total uh, about 10 bucks for this. Like I said, that's just a 4 foot long by 12 inch wide concrete form. And then you saw the little uh, oatmeal container. All right, hold on, <laughs> hold on, buddy. But there you go, air cannons on the cheek.